Hi, Richard Evans here, back in the U.S. Uh, from Condo Hotel Professionals, and today I'd like to go over the owner's statement, specifically deductions and accounting for those deductions. They sometimes cause confusion. Um, on owners, the majority of owner's statements, uh, the rental management agreement calls for two different types of deductions. The first type is, is the owner's statement deductions before the calculation or before we apply the factor, in this case it's 50%, and then deductions after the calculation. The difference being deductions before the calculation or before the multiplier are actually split with the hotel program. After the multiplier is applied, these are deductions that are absorbed entirely by the unit owner. So let me walk you down this particular statement. The gross room revenues in unit 10001 were $5,000 for this particular month. And this RMA called for specific percentages of gross room revenue to calculate a management fee, credit card commissions, and reservation costs. They total 468, therefore net gross room revenues would be 4,533 and you would use your multiplier of 50%, apply it to that number of 4,533, and this is the amount of money that would be due to the unit owner before deductions after said multiplier. Now, in this particular RMA, it calls for linen fees, uh, a monthly linen fee of $55, so you can see that's deducted. Here, the particular owner stayed at the property and had two housekeeping uh, services, therefore $175 was deducted. Usually that's a schedule that's put out by the condo hotel. And then they had a approved uh, repair and maintenance item or a job order that the owner coordinator or owner relations manager called them about and uh, approved for $250. So the total costs after the multiplier were $480. Those are deducted. We then come to the amount due to the owner before reserves, 1,008,786. dollars The reserves generally are 3 or 4%. They are not applied to the RMA factor amount, but are applied to gross room revenues. So you can see $200 is put into the reserve specifically for the unit owner, and the amount of the check that would be issued to the unit owner is $1,586. Just want to show you the difference between um, the calculation with deductions and without deductions. Had there been no deductions, the 50% would have been applied directly to the 5,000 and the owner would have had a check before the, deduct, the, the specific deductions uh, of 2,500 uh, as opposed to the 2,266. That is a savings of $234 and you can see that that comes from 50% uh, of each of the deductions before the calculation, okay? Now, uh, let me just talk a little bit about accounting. You can see I've used for you accounting people the T accounts here, and you can see here on the bottom the first transaction would be that we've established that gross room revenues of $5,000 um, were earned by this particular unit, and you can see that accounts receivable was 5,000, gross room revenues were 5,000. Moving down, the second transaction is 50% of the gross room re revenues due to the owner before those deductions would have been $2,500. So owner distribution would be debited 2,500, and due to owner would be debt credited 2,500. Three, you have your 50% benefit from the deductions before the percentage is applied. As we reviewed, it was $234. So you can see that number three, due to owners, is reduced by $234. And you can see that the owner distribution expense is reduced by that $75.86 and $73. Again, remember, the $75.86 and $73. Okay, okay. Four, deductions paid by owners after the, that multiplier is applied, 
So now your due, for, due to owner would be debited by 480, reduced, and linen expense, housekeeping expense, and repair and maintenance expense would either be recorded as income or usually what I do is I just reduce the expense. So here you see whatever the expense is, we apply a credit to 55 to linen expense, to housekeeping expense, and to repair and maintenance expense. Finally, we have the cash reserves that are deducted of $200, and you can see 500 is, oh, that should be 200, excuse me. So cash reserves of 200 are established specifically for that owner, and then until they are used, they are recorded as uh, either an advance payment or a payable to that owner. Now, you can see that we now have the owner distribution totaling 2,266. That would be the total amount right here, the amount that is distributed before the owners have to pay those specific fees that come out of their pockets. You can see that the amount due to the owner or that check that will be cut to the owner is 1,786, which is at the bottom of the statement here, and that is before reserves are taken. Okay, and then you can see that we have the rest is 5,000 of gross room revenues, 5,000 of receivables, and you can see everything else that went on as we have discussed. So owner's statements can be a little confusing. Um, in some circumstances, accounting departments do not even account for the deductions that are taken uh, right after gross room revenues and before the multiplier is applied, uh, but you can account for them if your CPA firm requires you to do so, and this is the way to do that. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you again next week.